Every time you turn on a fan, use a power drill, or even start an electric car, you're using something magical, something that silently turns electricity into motion. It's so common, so quietly efficient, that we often overlook just how incredible it is. That something is the electric motor. But have you ever paused and asked, how do electric motors actually work? Let's unravel the science and the simple brilliance behind the motors that power our world, right here on History of Simple Things. First, let's zoom out a little. The job of an electric motor is to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. In plain terms, it turns electricity into movement. But to really understand how, we need to dig into a bit of physics. Don't worry, this won't be a lecture. We'll keep it clear and intuitive. At the core of it all is a phenomenon known as electromagnetism. When you run electricity through a wire, something interesting happens. That wire produces a magnetic field around it. This is called electromagnetic induction, a discovery made in the 1800s by Michael Faraday. Essentially, electricity and magnetism are deeply connected. This is the same principle that allows both electric motors and generators to work. But we'll stick with motors for now. Inside most electric motors, you'll find two key parts, a rotor and a stator. The rotor is the part that spins, and the stator is the stationary part that surrounds it. When electrical current flows through wire coils on either the rotor or the stator, it creates a magnetic field. This magnetic field interacts with the field from permanent magnets or other coils, and that interaction produces motion. Still with me? Good! Let's take a look at a basic DC motor, the kind often found in toys, small appliances, and car starters. It has a coil of wire, the rotor, placed between two magnets. When you connect a battery, current flows through the coil, creating its own magnetic field. This field pushes against the magnet's fields, and the coil starts to spin. But here's the clever part. The motor has something called a commutator. This is a switch that flips the direction of the current at just the right moment to keep the coil spinning continuously in the same direction. Without it, the motor would just rock back and forth. The result? Continuous rotational motion, perfect for turning gears, blades, wheels, or whatever else you need to move. Different types of electric motors work on the same basic principles but with some variations depending on their use. For example, AC motors, found in your household appliances like washing machines and air conditioners, use alternating current instead of direct current. That means the electricity changes direction periodically. AC motors don't need a commutator because the current itself flips directions automatically. These motors usually include a component called an induction coil, which uses the changing magnetic field of the AC current to induce a current in the rotor. This induced current generates a magnetic field and the rotor starts to spin. And here's a cool fact. Nikola Tesla, yes, that Tesla played a huge role in the development of the AC motor. His innovations paved the way for modern electrical grids and motors that run so many of our home appliances today. Then there are brushless DC motors, commonly used in electric vehicles, drones, and computer fans. These are high-efficiency motors that ditch the brushes and commutator. Instead, they use solid-state electronics to control the direction of current. That means less friction, longer lifespan, and quieter operation. Electric motors aren't just in our homes and cars. They're the backbone of modern industry. Factories use massive motors to power conveyor belts, cranes, pumps, and even elevators. 
Without electric motors, the modern world would grind to a halt. Interestingly, the same fundamental principles apply regardless of size. Whether it's a tiny motor in your electric toothbrush or a massive industrial machine, it's still electricity interacting with magnetism to produce motion. Let's talk briefly about torque, the twisting force that causes rotation. In electric motors, torque depends on the strength of the magnetic fields and the amount of current flowing through the wires. More current, stronger magnetic field, more torque. This is why electric vehicles can accelerate so quickly. Unlike gas engines that need to rev up to build torque, electric motors deliver instant torque the moment you press the pedal. It's fast, efficient, and remarkably simple once you understand the physics. Electric motors have been around for nearly two centuries. Faraday's experiments in the early 1800s laid the groundwork, and inventors like Tesla and Thomas Davenport turned theory into working machines. Over time, engineers refined the design, improved the materials, and reduced energy loss, leading to the ultra-efficient compact motors we rely on today. And it's still evolving. Today, electric motors are at the heart of innovation. Robotics, autonomous vehicles, electric aircraft, and even space missions depend on them. Engineers are constantly working to make motors lighter, stronger, and more efficient. Some motors now operate using superconductors with almost zero resistance, and scientists are even exploring quantum technologies to push performance further. The motor has come a long way, but at its core, it's still about the dance between electricity and magnetism. So the next time you flick on a switch and something moves, whether it's your blender, your scooter, or your robot vacuum, you'll know there's a motor behind the scenes, humming away, quietly turning invisible electricity into motion. Simple, powerful, ingenious. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.